Hello to everyone, I'm Gábor Ötzei and I will show you CUDA 5 in user perspective. The following major topics will be discussed. At first, I will compare the CPU and the GPU architectures. Next, I will summarize what is CUDA and why it is good for researchers. I will speak some words about Unified European Application Benchmark Suite and I will use this for demonstration. I will run NAMD software on CPU and GPU and I will run Gromax software on CPU and GPU. And final, I will analyze the results. First, just clarify the central processing unit, its short name CPU, is the master that tells all the parts of the computer what to do. CPUs can also do all kinds of math, as inside every CPU is one or more arithmetic and logic units. Here you can see. GPU is very different. It have been designed so they are very good at doing video processing and less executive work. GPUs have large numbers of arithmetic and logic units, more so than CPUs. Here you can see. Compute Unified Device Architecture, short name CUDA, is a parallel computing platform and programming model created by NVIDIA and implemented by graphics processing units that they produce. CUDA gives program developers direct access to the virtual instruction set and memory of the parallel computation element in CUDA GPUs. Using CUDA, the GPUs can be used for general purpose processing. Here you can see a CUDA processing flow example. At first, the data will be copied from main memory to GPU memory. After this, CPU instructs the process to GPU. After this, GPU executes parallel in each core. And last one, the data will be copied from GPU memory to the main memory. And now, I will start the practical part of my presentation. I used this configuration for testing. My test machine has 24 Intel CPU cores and 6 NVIDIA GPU cards. It has 23 GB memory and operating system type is Red Hat. The CUDA version is 5. For job scheduling we will use Slurm. The target of this test that I would like to demonstrate the GPUs how will speed up our application. I will show you some technical parameters of the test machine. I have chosen two applications from the Unified European Application Benchmark Suite. The first one, NEMD, and the other one, the Gromax. If you would like to know more about this benchmark suite, then please open this website. We will start the test with the NEMD program, which is a molecular dynamics application designed to simulate biomolecular systems on a wide variety of compute platforms. I have compiled the NAMD software for CPU in the following way. I used OpenMPI and Intel compiler. And I have switched on the following flex. I 
I use this script to submit my job to the Slurm. Here you can see that it will use 24 CPU cores. These are the results of the job. Here is the wall clock time. And now I will show you the GPU version. The compilation is the same. We have only one differences. Here you can see I have switched on the CUDA support. And now here is the modified Slurm script. Here is the added 6 GPU requirement. and here are the parameters here are the result of the GPU job CUDA devices are there you can see that wall clock time is less and now we will test Gromax which is an other molecular dynamics application I have compiled the Gromax software in the following way I used Intel compiler and I have switched on the following acceleration I use this Slurm script and I have configured the CPU cores. Here are the results of the job. Here is the wall clock time. I have switched on this flag and from now our application can use GPUs. Here is the modified Slurm script. Here are the GPUs and now I will start it. Here are the results. Here is the wall clock time. We can conclude that GPU cards have speed up these applications and CUDA 5 is very useful tool. Thank you for your attention.